Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. On the internet, nobody knows you're a dog. No, it, I, it, I'm not the dog. I, I'm the guy who's holding onto the dog. This is Wicket, of course. And Wicket, did you know that the first living creature on the internet was a dog? Uh, they uh, put a dog in cyberspace uh, just to see if uh, life could exist online, and uh, the dog is uh, still missing. Um, the dog's name, Fido. Okay, that's a that's kind of a joke that only like three people on the planet are, are really going to understand if it's even considered a joke in the first place. Um, we had an email come in from a community member at large asking about a term that apparently I dropped a while ago uh, and then recently again, Usenet, asking, well, what is this Usenet thing that you referred to or that I had referred to? Uh, well, way back when, uh, before the web, if you can imagine a time uh, when the internet existed but the web did not, uh, there were n few places where you could congregate with a user community in a, in a distributed fashion. So I went to the University of Northern Iowa. I could certainly communicate with people on my own leg of the network. Uh, I would have access to uh, certain private um, threaded conversations and places to start conversations, post conversations, etc. But in terms of getting to the global conversation, the only place that we could go to, or that I certainly knew about, was Usenet, or a user network. Uh, there was no central repository for this network, but it was a way that anybody could get access to this global community, post threads, organize groups, create new groups, frequently ask questions. This was basically community. Uh, and you'd have micro-communities inside of Usenet. Each news group had its own community. Uh, I was pretty active in an ASCII art news group for a while. Uh, I enjoyed it. I've talked about that uh, many times. Um, and this is this is something that predated bulletin boards. I mean, you, you know, of course, about web forums these days. And uh, BBSs uh, certainly came before them um, in the sense that it gave people an easy way of getting together even though they were in different parts of the world. Uh, there were really no ISPs at that point. I mean, a lot of us were, you know, either in, in commercial locations or educational or, or scientific uh, locations. Um, this was the Internet for a lot of us. This is how we discovered all the information. In fact, that's, I still remember um, Weird Al Yankovic, uh, I, I was a part of the, that news group for a long time, uh, and I remember when he released Alapalooza, that album, and it was largely talked about in the news group, and I just thought it was so exciting. I'm like, wow, this is the future. We get the fans finally have a chance to connect about this stuff and then talk about where they discovered it, and it was just a very exciting time. Uh, and this was again before the web, certainly long before bulletin boards, uh, long before a lot of the information. Uh, was out there, and we had to rely on each other to share information. So th the Usenet groups are still around, these news groups. Uh, you can probably access them through your ISP, or your ISP is likely uh, getting service through a Usenet uh, hierarchy provider, a server, if you will, news server. Um, or you can go to groups.google.com, which is pretty much the web host for Usenet these days. You can start your own group relatively easy. Uh, you know, it's the idea of it isn't as special as it once was, uh, but I can tell you that those that are still involved and heavily active in news groups uh, are very protective of their community. In fact, uh, the first spam that I can recall uh, was someone cross-posting with throughout all the news groups something it was about green cards, if I remember correctly, and they had a great response, but of course they ticked a lot of people off. Um, so from there, unfortunately, uh, news groups were spammed, and you know it grew from uh, news group spam to email spam and web spam, and you know so unfortunately, as soon as uh, you've wicked, are you done? All right, I think he's going to go get online. He's a little frustrated that I'm still talking about the way things were rather than the way things are, like streaming video. In fact, did you realize one of the first, if not the first, webcam on the internet was a webcam pointing towards a coffee pot? And did you also know I used to finger Coke machines? Yeah. Uh, I did that. And I, I can readily admit that.
Uh, I'm not the only one who fingered Coke machines, and given the opportunity, I'd finger another Coke machine. And again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you have no idea why that... It sounds funny, but you, you just... It's different now. I remember when Yahoo had a tilde in its URL. I mean, I, I yeah, I'm that old. I'm not older than the Internet, but uh, at least that I know of. Maybe I am. Maybe, maybe I was hatched. Uh, who knows? So that's Usenet in a nutshell. You can still get to it, as I said before. Uh, well, anybody else out there used to hang out on Usenet too? Hmm? Maybe you? Do you ha did you have any idea that these things even existed, these news groups of which I'm speaking? Uh, are you still in Usenet in any capacity? I'd just be curious to know. I mean, it, more than anything, just to know that we've got that, you know, bond now. The fact that we were there when the web wasn't. Oh, it's a scary thought. All right, leave a comment, remark, follow up, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how many other people are... Uh, classic users of the internet uh, of course I'm sure some people you know are have been around longer than I have online so uh, you know you're welcome to swing by the community to talk it up and and uh, wax nostalgic with me and the other community members at live.perillo.com that's the URL everyone keeps typing in uh, and until next time or your next question will you later